Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to review the product page and there are some issues. I will fix them and we will go through some of the example products we can add. So I know some of you guys are asking some of the features are not working in product page. So let's fix them. In the previous video, we work on the profile and we finish off the updating profile and account setting. So I will come back to product and review some of the stuff here. For example, one of the issue was here. If you are going to delete something, you say yes, it does not delete that here. So let's see the error. If I open the console window, you will see the error here. So I will come to the console. Oops, this is the new version of Chrome. So here is the error. The error said the collection reference document must, must not be undefined or none empty string so if i come to the code let's review everything in the product page so if i come to the product first of all i will scroll up to the table we have this is the function for delete and we pass the product which contain every information like all the details of that product so if i go to the function delete i will come down here we pass the product first of all we ask for a confirmation using the sweet alert if they say yes we are going to delete it here we ask the document dot key. If you remember in one of the videos, I add something to the main .js file. So instead of uh, using document dot key like inside an array, you should be able to say document dot id. That is what we did in the Vue.js. So that is related to Vue.js. If I come to the main .js file here, I will just open it up and I will scroll up a little bit. If you check out this line of code in your main.js, if you do not have access to this code, make sure you check out the video description. I have a link and the link will go through the GitHub repository. You can check out the code here. In the main.js, I have added this line of code here. So what this is going to do, this is going to tell Vue Firebase that instead of key, we are going to use the ID and it should be a number. I have written a description also here. So it is a number and it is equal to true so now if i come to the product i don't know where i changed that and i forgot to do that in the delete one so you can say document or doc.id and you save it as soon as it compiled down i will clean up all these errors for now and i'm going to delete the book here so if i click on the delete yes it did delete that one and let's delete some of them as well you can see everything works just fine and they are just deleting all those information so you delete everything you will come to the firebase going to the database not the storage the storage is for images and we have some more here so i will close up i will remove everything and i will add some more example products so you will see how everything is working fine here feel free to skip the video if you don't want to watch so i just want to show you how everything is going to work and adding new product should work just fine so if i come here let's see for the profile am i in the view shop we have events we do not have collection for because we delete everything when you delete everything your collection does not exist here anymore so you can see you do not have the product collection so let's add a product for this example i will use the citizen watches so i will pick one of them I will take the price and then we put the price here and as well as the title this is going to be the name this is just as an example so for the tag we are going to say new old main and cool they are just watches and they are the tags so for the image I will pick the image from here I think this one is the image so it should upload the image now and for the description also we will add the description so if I pick this and we will paste it here as you can see it did upload the image for us and now we can save the changes and everything should should work just fine if I come to the firebase you know we don't have any document for the product do you think it will create or not so let's test it if I click on the save changes it give us the product created successfully notification if I come here you don't see here unless you refresh it so if you give your page on firebase a refresh you will see the magic of their database and how it is going to create your collection on the fly we will wait for it to load and here it is your product collection and you have all the data you need 
that's it like that is basically this much easy also you have the image if I come here now if I am going to edit something you know everything is working just fine and you can do all the changes you want so that's it for this video I hope it has been informative and now everything is working just fine and the only thing that remaining here is some of the basic stuff I think you can do that if you have any issue please please just ask them on Google I'm not saying that under the video because so many of you guys are pasting the error on the comments of video so if I spend time on fixing all of those issues one by one I will not have time to create more videos so I will put my effort on creating the video rather than answering all of this question or just going to googling your error and it will take mm, much much more time than that so i hope it has been informative thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video where we are going to work on the product uh, on the order page and some cool stuff thank you for watching